Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Amanda Star's Celebrity Perfume Review. So I'm very happy to be reviewing a fragrance that I actually announced to you guys um, back toward the beginning of this year and it is Paradise Elixir by Shakira. So this is the fourth installment to the Elixir line and its box is probably, it's not the most elaborate because like I said the Aphrodisiac Elixir's box is the most elaborate. But this is the most well used of a box. So you've got the two um kind of cockatoos, two cans looking at each other on the front of the box. And there's some flowers down the bottom and it's got this kind of tropicalness to it. You've still got that same kind of water droplet in the center of the box. But it's kind of fades all the way around the box, which all the other ones didn't do that. All the other ones cut off right on the side. And then you've got this really floral, fun top to this stuff with the um, Shakira S on it. Sorry, my leg was all screwed up there. So this one, its bottle is a little bit different from all the other ones. And I will say that I like this one. So you've got the silver kind of uh, top to it this time instead of it being gold, it's silver. And for the first time, it actually says, like, I don't know if I can get this to focus on it or not, but it says Paradise Elixir by Shakira on the bottle. And none of them other, the other ones said that. So this is definitely kind of cool how it does that. So this one, its top notes are lime, mandarin, and palm leaf. Middle notes are tahir flower and jasmine with base notes of sandalwood or cedarwood and musk. So straight off the bat, I will put this out here. This is really unisex. Um, it's not labeled as a unisex fragrance, but I feel like this one could almost be unisex. When you first spray it, you get a very kind of citrusy opening. But that's because you get two citruses in the top. So you got the mandarin and the lime, both kind of giving it the citrus kind of tropically fresh opening. Um, the palm leaf is the star of this fragrance. I will tell you this right now. Palm is not normally something that's in a fragrance, but I feel like this one is very well done. But this is very much a palm leaf fragrance. It smells so much like palm leaves and kind of gives this tropical vibe to it which I like because although other fragrances when they try to go tropical they really pull out these like the, they pull out the coconut stop and as much as coconut is tropical I feel like it's the norm for a tropical and the thing I really like about Shakira's fragrances is they're not normal none of them are normal but they're not bad but with this one it's In my mind, it is the perfect tropical scent because when I think tropical, this is what I think of. If somebody would ask me the most tropical fragrance in my collection, I would definitely point to this one because it's, in my mind, what a tropical what tropical is. Tropical isn't a bunch of fruits. It isn't a bunch of anything. I feel like it's sea sun and like palm leaves blowing in the air, and that's what this is. So this is very airy. Um, middle notes are tahir flower and jasmine. Tahir flower is definitely out there. It adds this beautiful floral heart to this and it is the perfect tahir flower. I've never seen a fragrance done so well with a tahir flower in it. So the jasmine just adds that back to the fragrance and then you get into the base with the cedar wood and the musk. So the musk adds similar to all the other um the way that it's added to all the other elixirs it just adds this feathery airiness to the fragrance and the cedar wood literally is so well thought out because it's the base or the palm tree to this it, and it's kind of like if you were to be and here I'm, here I'm gonna go with my stupid analogy but this is the best way for me to describe this fragrance so you were dropped out of a plane and you are going to be falling into a rainforest full of palm trees and all the palm trees are fresh and wet because it just rained on this amazing island that you're about to drop into and as you start to fall, you hit those palm leaves. And as you're falling out of the palm leaves, you they're, they're kind of rustled, but they're stuck to you. Like, they, some fell and like, got stuck in your clothes and whatnot, and maybe you grabbed a couple just to hold on to. And as you're falling out of them, and you're falling down the tree, for some reason, this palm tree has 
fruit on it. It's a magically fruiting palm tree, and it's got some limes and some mandarins on it. And it gives you, like, you're, you get a little bit of a citrus. Like, maybe as you're falling out of the tree, you, you crush a couple of them. And so you've got that citrus juice on you now. And then you start to bounce down the trunk of the tree, and you've got some palm trunk on you. And then once you're on the ground, you've got, like, on the base of this palm tree, for some reason, the palm tree is covered in jasmine and tahir flowers. And you kind of pick the tahir flowers up and you carry them with you with your palm trees that you grab and you're soaked in mandarin and lime juice. But you still got that woody aspect to you from where you scraped yourself on the palm tree. So there's my fun little story of how this fragrance works, but it's so weird because it is the ultimate tropical scent to me. It's just the right amount of citrus, it's just the right amount of earthy greenness without it having patchouli in it. I feel like if they were to add patchouli to this fragrance, it would have ruined it. But with it still being that, it's this amazingly tropical oasis of a scent. And I feel like this is just the undiscovered scent of a magical island that you need to go visit. And you brought this back because you won the bottle that a magical island in a bottle that nobody would believe you were ever there. So, but definitely an amazing, an amazing elixir. Um, I said in my aphrodisiac elixir that Shakir's aphrodisiac elixir was my favorite elixir, but I had to remember how this one is because this one's so new that I haven't worn it a whole lot. I have worn it and I get about five to six hours of lasting power out of it. And every single time I wear it, people ask me, what am I wearing? Because it's just such a amazing scent and it's so weird at the same time. Um, but with this, I feel like it almost battles out to be my favorite. I feel like I, there's favorites of Aphrodisiac Elixir and favorites of uh, Paradise Elixir, but they're both so different from each other that I love them both in their own way. I haven't tried layering them yet. I think that might be something I might try down the road. We'll see. But as always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. That is my review of Paradise Elixir by Shakira. And if you guys have any requests for future reviews, please, please comment down below, and I will do my best to film them. And as always, guys, follow me on Twitter, Ada's Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Have a great day, guys. Bye.